Okay. Then, uh, okay, let's uh, see how it works with when I send the command to the robot. For example, I will tell the robot go straight, make a circle, and go back like that. So come here. So these are the actually the I already told you. I already told you that this is the my interface. I'm sending command here. I already explained the first parameter, what does it mean, and the second parameter as well. So first of all, I need to send some commands, for example. Uh, okay, let's, uh, I want to make the robot go straight, for example. Okay. I'm sending this command. Okay. Yeah, I send the command, and it tries to go straight, but, uh, yeah, you see, that there is some friction, and... <clears throat> so, due to some friction and the wheel, the four wheel, uh, I want to mention here, this the first two wheels is working only for right now because we don't have a controller for four, four wheel. So, that's why it uh, cannot go straight. Okay, let's see. Yeah. It is going instead, but uh, then it makes a circle for due to this problem. So then again, I want to make it uh, backward. Okay, so these are the command I sent it already. Okay, then it will go backward. Okay. Now, for example, I am sending the command for idle. Do not do nothing. Yes, it says stop. And then, you know, it's uh, moving anti-clockwise. I want to move it, make a circle clockwise. Okay, I'm sending a command uh, clockwise. Okay, here you go. Yes. Yeah. So you see, this is the, this is, uh, here is a Zigbee. It's listening uh, what I am sending to the command and it's working according to the command. So it's pretty good, and this is the first lesson. So we need to lots of work to need to work to be done. Yeah, see you. Thank you for watching this video.